people who shit on elite theory and just like pick like one little thing to and say, well, you know, the, if you're going to talk about this, then it, shut up. God. Uh, what's the read on Project 2025 ordeal? Feels purposeful for it to be denounced publicly now when a lot of normies don't have a clue what it is. I don't know. I mean, I've talked to people in the sphere of people who started and funded 2025 and I mean, at least one of them says, and someone that I, I trust her opinion that it's not going to do the thing, do what a lot of people think it does. A lot of it's going to be like, Oh, we need to, we need smaller government and everything. No, you need bigger government. If you're going to actually change stuff, you shouldn't be reducing the size of the government. If your purpose is to basically overthrow the administrative state, you're going to need the administ. You're going to need your people in those places to do that. So stop trying to shrink the size of government. Uh, it's horrible, Cynthia. Uh, ba, ba, ba. In the Boeing whistleblower die mysteriously. Like three of them have, I believe. The new leader of Iran is Turkey. Interesting. I mean, everyone around there is just I've heard some people say that they're all Turkish. They all just come from some Turkish one, like one person. Yeah, liberal spurring about Project 2025 is, yeah, it's it's cool. Yeah. It's fun to watch. Yeah. Ranicki says the European and USA economic collapse will be followed by a currency collapse, global hyperinflation. That will be Europe's salvation. Uh, no, I don't think so, Ranicki. I think... Uh, I, I, you know, there's some, there's one major thing I disagree with, Lu, Lu, with Tom Luongo on, but I do agree with Tom Luongo that, um, that, um, we're going to be okay. We, we're going to have, we'll probably have deflation. Yeah, they had, um, it's, it, the euro dollar, uh, the the petrodollar is all done. It's the war dollar now. People who shit on elite theory are probably okay with people who shitting on the streets. That's funny. Uh, it, it's it's way more complicated than that. Big Brown. I don't know that they have the balls to do it. And you start doing mass firings. I mean, you're too many people in Washington want to be liked. That's a big problem. Jim O, super chat over on Entropy. Thanks, man. Um, ha, means to send my original messages. Super chat. Everyone have a great Sunday. Need to feed the chickens, prep dinner, enjoy good weather, and maybe have some gym beverages. Do that, man. <laughs> Sounds like a great day to me. Yeah, 900 pages. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Let's see what we got here. Boeing, uh, sparking my constantly. So, uh, Boeing turning their airplanes into bombs. The only thing that can defeat the administrative state is the administrative state. Yeah, the only thing that can defeat defeat a state is a state. Right, honorable says absolutely one hundred percent right. Pete, the transportation section of Project Twenty Twenty Five is the same user fees, lower taxes, BS. <laughs> The, the periphery gets crushed in favor of the center. The dollar is going to suck up all the currencies first. Yeah. Currency collapse would just result in a situation like the purge or the walking dead. Thoughts on France? I mean, I, I, I don't know. I, I mean, I, I she is regime. A lot of people around her aren't regime. Basically, she'd have to be a puppet for there to be real change. I just don't see in Europe, France being the one that steps up and says no, you know, and, and it starts to mass deportations first. I think Ireland is the one who, who has the best chance of doing that. Um, and then Sweden, but, uh, Pete Budapest says, look, everyone is on my case lately, but I'm maintaining it. Trump ain't the guy, lazy, dumb, retarded levels of egomania. He is at best a temporary slowdown. 
it just depends if he would let the people it, it depends if the people around him want to actually like dismantle the administrative state or you know basically take over the administrative state and give it to our people but the problem is is will he let them you know how quickly he just fires people yeah my chief slangaby says yeah my fag them brother who wouldn't answer calls after the debate is now just talking about project 25 when i see him saying trump wants to make gay mass graves how the hell can you be brought up in tennessee and talk like that yeah i mean they need to fire judges they need to, i mean it's, it's hey what's up death you forgot today was sunday until you saw the stream that's hilarious i already gave my opinion on the france election i don't know i i don't know I don't trust Marine Le Pen, but there, she may have some good people around her. It sounds like a Trump situation. We just asked for no public promotion of homosexuality, especially to kids. I mean, just no public homosexuality. There's always going to be degeneracy. It just has to go back into the shadows. The Chevron decision will require doubling of congressional staff. Uh, being a politician in D.C. is like being an outright deep state funded celebrity, but with less screen time to the masses. Uh, I don't think the U.S. will do mass deportations. The left will tie it up in courts. I'll just say this right now. This is my opinion. I, it's the opinion of others, too. If there is not mass deportations, if you don't roll back immigration into this country, at least I would say to 1988, 1990, it's it's done. It's over. It's just, it's over. And then you can only hope to do things locally and try to protect yourself locally without rollback immigration, negative immigration. It is over. You all know this. You all know it. They know it. They know it, but think who's who has more boomer thinking than politicians. Oh, as long as I get mine, I mean, by the time when I leave, it, it'll be I, I don't care. My kids, my kids will handle that. It's fucking boomer thinking. Same thing on immigration. So, Solution time. Dankus Vanilla says, solution time. Go back to your small rural hometown. Start a business with explicit right-wing values. Solve problems and make your neighbors wealthy. Take over local political offices. That's about it, man. That's about it. DJ says, I'm going home now after a great Saturday at Dixie Republic, hanging out with great people. Not all is lost. Yeah, I mean, it's awesome. That's why I love to go to Wildman's. Got to get over to Wildman's. Haven't been there in over a year. Italy would be the country that kicks them out first. Uh, I'll take your word on it as a European, but I, I don't know. <laughs> That's like gay mass graves. <laughs> is Hungary a long-term option, or could they swing left when Orban is gone? Yeah, I mean, they, they could. That's the problem. I mean, look at what happened to Spain after uh, Franco died. That's the problem. You have to have someone who's willing to keep it, you know, just not even to keep it going you have to create the system that keeps it going on its own you know sort of like the way everything here has been going on its own since world war ii you want that you want that to happen in your country but with our values so <laughs> trump has one purpose at this point collapse military recruitment as hard as possible mm. Globalists held on in France. That's its reality. Yeah. Does Trump still believe that declaring bankruptcy will fix his problems with hiring the wrong? I don't know. <sighs> Project 2025 is just a presidential policy book that they put out every four years for a potential GOP president. Milk toast, Con Inc. manifesto. Yeah. 
Yeah, I saw the clip of Bukele versus business, and I saw the libertarians melting down over it. If he fixes prices, there's going to be shortages. Okay, and then what will you say if there's not shortages? Oh, somehow the free market worked. Punch a libertarian. America doesn't have to do mass deportations. It's just a matter of how dependent the cities are on food and water. <laughs> Forget the courts. Make them come in and enforce it. It's over already. We need to create per parallel institutions and intentional communities. I'll have an episode coming out on that this week, Oliver. The Peter Siri, really good guy. Spoke at the OGC conference. Blew me away. What he's doing. Operation wet back on steroids. Yeah. Big Dan in LA. Anyone who, when someone mentions parallel institutions and Waco in this, you, you're you're going to get banned from the. You, you'll get banned from this. Waco was a completely. Go ahead. Type Waco again. You'll be banned from the channel. Do you? I was writing a book on Waco when when COVID happened, and I. You don't know what happened at Waco, okay? Don't talk about Waco unless you have studied Waco, read all the books that I have over here on it. You just don't know. Boomers will get their benefits from immigration. Gen X and millennials suffer the consequences. Yeah. Orban isn't authoritarian enough. That's true. Would be interesting if you were on Tommy's podcast. He, Tommy who? I mean, the fuck is the 2024 U.S. election, but metastasized boomer thought two 80-year-olds. Yeah, I know. Literally every single Somalian needs to go back. Everyone from Central America needs to go back. Mexican illegals would be harder if they're if they've been here a long time. Recent arrivals, so yeah. I mean, the Tejanos who've been here since before te when Texas was still Mexico, they stay. They just stay. Sorry. The Somalian problem is really easy to take care of. It's <laughs> Uh, can you give your thoughts on about Bukele's recent threats too? I just did. Uh, ba, ba, ba. How about libertarians can apply my free market to a formerly criminal state like El Salvador is really something. Yeah. Good news is with the current regime is falling apart faster than a Mexican spaceship. Economics is a secondary matter. Economics isn't even economics is a junk science. The fact that people, the fact that people study it is like make work jobs or make money from st studying it and, you know, podcasting and writing books about it. <laughs> 